Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we'll show you how to calculate the required thickness of the bearing plate that takes the reaction of a steel beam and distributes the force over a masonry wall. Bearing plates are used to transfer concentrated compressive forces from one structural element to another. This is most commonly seen when a steel beam is supported by concrete or masonry. Let's take a practical example. A 203 by 133 by 30 UB steel beam, grade S275 is supported by two existing masonry walls, and a bearing steel plate is required to take the reactions of the steel beam and transfer the force to the wall. The maximum facted reaction of the beam is 20 kN. The characteristic compressive strength of the existing masonry walls is assumed to be 2.9 newtons per millimeter squared and the partial safety factor for material strength is 3. Bearing plate, grade S275 has dimensions of 100 millimeters in width and 200 millimeters in length. What is the appropriate thickness of the plate? First, we need to determine the stiff bearing length which equals thickness of the web plus 1.6 root radius plus 2 thickness of the flange. For 203 by 133 by 30 UB steel section property, the thickness of the web is 6.4 mm, the thickness of the flange is 9.6 mm, and the root radius is 7.6 mm. As a result, the stiff bearing length equals web thickness 6.4 plus 1.6 root radius 7.6 plus 2 flange thickness 9.6. This gives us a value of 37.8 millimeters. Next, we need to work out the bearing plate projection beyond the stiff bearing plate length, which equals half of plate length minus stiff bearing length. We know the plate length is 200 millimeters and we calculated the stiff bearing length 37.8 mm. Hence, the bearing plate projection, equals half of plate length 200 mm minus 37.8 mm. This results in 81.1 mm. Now we need to work out the stress under the plate which equals the steel beam reaction 20 kN times 1000 to convert it Newton. Then divide by the area of the plate, 200 mm by 100 mm. This gives us a value of 1 newton per millimeter squared. In order to work out the plate thickness from the equation, the yielding stress 275 newton per millimeter squared equals the bending moment divided by section modulus. Bending moment equals stress under the plate 1 newton per millimeter squared times the bearing plate projection length 81.1 mm, times half of the bearing plate projection length 81.1 mm. Section modulus equals plate thickness squared divided by 6. Therefore, the required plate thickness equals the square root of 6, times the stress under the plate 1 newton per mm squared, times bearing plate projection length 81.1 mm, times half of the bearing plate projection length 81.1 mm, divided by steel yielding stress 275 newton per mm squared. This gives us a value of 8.47 mm. Round this up to 10 mm of plate thickness. Finally, we need to examine the bending stress in the plate, which equals the stress under the plate 1 newton per mm squared, times bearing plate projection length 81.1 mm, times half bearing plate projection length 81.1 mm, divided by section modulus 10 mm squared divided by 6. This results to the value of 197 newtons per mm squared which is lower than the yield strength 275 newtons per mm squared. The plate thickness of 10 mm is then considered adequate. Thanks for watching. We hope you found some useful tips. Check out our website at structuralengineercalcs.com. Please like and subscribe, and let us know what would you like to see next. The human footprint is a masterpiece of engineering and a work of art. Stay safe. Goodbye, and see you soon.